She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker, Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park, the passion at the park, the passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, I'm so excited. I'm back from vacation and I'm making a ton of shows, so be sure to subscribe. And this is a recipe that reminded me of my childhood and some good friends fixed this for me for brunch one day and it's a strawberry freezer jam. Yes, that's right. We're going to be making a jam today using strawberries and the store had strawberries on sale, a two for special and it was a great sale and it makes a great jam you can give to your friends in little jars and you won't give them trichinosis because it goes right in your freezer. You don't have to do that fancy stove type stuff. But it's my strawberry freezer jam, and I'm going to show you how to make it up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. The store had a two-for special on strawberry... And that is a bug. I don't know what kind of bug that is. That's a scary looking bug. That looks like a horror movie bug. I don't even know what kind of bug that is. I, that, that's crazy. I don't, it's going to jump on me or whatever. It's got some sort of... We are going to get rid of that bug. Excuse me. Pardon me. We're going to put that right on into the there and... Let me make sure I don't have any more bugs in here. That is scary. I guess this is why I don't use natural products all the time because they have bugs on them. At least the bugs are chopped up when you use them in the can. What is, what was that? That was like some sort of aphid or, I don't know what that was. I don't, now I gotta be all concerned about bugs in my jam. Welcome back. Making my strawberry freezer jam isn't difficult because, you know, like canning, you've got to do up all that stuff on the stovetop and not give people trichinosis or something or some disease from some bad canning. This actually uses your freezer, and I found these cute little freezer containers over in the canning section. They're plastic, and they have a little screw cap on it, and you can put a ribbon around it and give these away to your friends as little mini gifts, and it goes in the freezer. And today I've gotten some of the fresh strawberries from the store. And what we're going to do is we're going to hull these strawberries. That means take the green part and wash them out. I use a strawberry huller. It's a little pinchy thing you can find at the store. And it just grabs hold of that green thing and takes it right off. It's so simple. And you can get them for about a dollar somewhere. And we're going to get these washed up too. Now I have the stems taken off the berries and we're going to mash them up now so we get about three and a half cups of mashed up berries. I have three and a half cups of the mashed berries in my bowl here and now we're going to add two and a half cups of regular sugar up in there and we're going to mix it around just a little bit and set that aside for about a half hour after it sits on there for a while to make them a little bit more sweeter. So just go ahead and mix that into the mixture just like that. Next up, you're going to take your berries that you've mashed up and added the sugar to and sat aside for about a half hour and put it in a saucepan. We're going to put this up on the stovetop until it boils. Then we're going to boil it for about five minutes. 
Bring your strawberry mixture up to a boil and boil it for about five minutes. Now I have our strawberry mixture which has been boiling up on the stove top for about five minutes. What you didn't see is it boiling over so I would use a bigger uh, pot for this because that was a mess. Um, but what you're going to do is you could use the instant pectin. This isn't expensive at all. This was about 99 cents and this works great and this works just the same but I like the added kick of the strawberry gelatin and I used a three ounce package of that and I'm just going to open that up and add that to our mixture just like that and it adds a nice color to it too and a, a little kick to the taste so let's just go ahead and mix that around and look how pretty that red is in just a moment and we're just going to mix that together so now I have the berry mixture and the three ounces of strawberry gelatin in there. And you could probably use a different type of gelatin to get a different flavor, maybe pineapple or something. But this has to cool down a little bit. It doesn't firm up or anything. I like to speed things up in the refrigerator here. And it's going to cool down and then we're going to put it in our little containers and then freeze it. So I'll check back with you in just a minute. So now we have our strawberry mixture which has been chilling in the refrigerator. And we actually can pour it in the cups now, which these are freezer jars and they kind of look like specimen cups, but we're going to put a ribbon on it and they're going to look really pretty for gifts. But what you're going to do is just pour some into the jar, just like this, not over your counter, just like I did, but um, let's see, there we go. It's all right. And now we're just going to pop the lid on them, just like this, and wow, I sure made a mess. But anyway, we're just going to put the lid on it and pop these in the freezer. And you're going to bring these out frozen and people can put them on our muffins or maybe the biscuits that we make from my other shows. But um, you could actually thaw it out and keep it in the refrigerator too. It does keep a couple weeks like that too. But it's great frozen. It's just easy to spread that way. They sure did make great gifts and I hope you get a chance to make my strawberry freezer jam. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me on Google+. Plus. I'm there too. And all my recipes can be found at TrailerParkTestKitchen.com. There's some more videos right around the corner, so be sure to subscribe. I love y'all, and I hope you enjoy my recipes. I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fun pride in the double wide.